Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave and Paula. Hello. And we're out and about today, just did some shopping, and it's very dreary today. Very cool and damp day here in Vermont. It's like 42 degrees. Um, being it's a Saturday, it's our Super Saturday Soda Spectacular video, which we always try to do out on the road every once in a while we're home, but we're out again. And today we are doing Frosty root beer okay. frosty I don't sing these winter songs honey we just it's christmas the, yep, the snow just melted <laughs> frosty the and this is bottled by excel bottling company out of breeze illinois you can check them out at www.excel e x c e l bottling dot com www.excelbottling.com uh, it's a registered trademark of Frosty Root Beer out of Detroit, Michigan. So it's bottled in Illinois, but it's a trademark out of Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, we got this at uh, Runnings. Runnings here over in Claremont, New Hampshire. And all right, let's get right into this. 170 calories per bottle. I'm not going to read the ingredients. That's actually not bad not really for a bad. soda. Well, yeah. I'll read the ingredients. Carbonated water, cane sugar, caramel, color, sodium benzonite, citric acid, natural, and artificial flavors. That's it. Not like some of those uh, sodas you can get and have 30, 40 uh, ingredients on it. Oh, that little bastard's on there. Oh, that's a good smell, root beer. Hmm, I like to smell that one. Oh, sorry. I was about to take a sap. Go ahead. Nope, go ahead. Very root beer smell. I like root beer. I like birch beer and I like sarsaparilla. All right, let's give this a try. Um, here, try that. See what you think. Wow, it reminds me of something, which I'm going to tell you in a minute. I'm trying to decide. Reminds me of my favorite place. Where's that? A and W. Really? Excuse me. It reminds you of A and W over mm -hmm. there? Yep. Let me try it again. I'm I'm torn right now. <laughs> You're also stuffy. Huh. I'm torn if I really like it. I think the more I've had of it, the better. The first initial flavor, I was kind of like, yeah. But the more I've had it, it, the flavor is definitely better than it was. I mean, it's not it's not bad by any means. Hmm. I kind of like the the label that's too. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm good on what I'm going to give it. Actually, it tastes really good off the lips, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better than a lot of the big produ uh, production root beers. I still think A&W is, to me, out of the production, the huge production root beers, A&W is the best for me. But to me, that ta that reminds me yeah. of it. And I don't know if you guys have A&W restaurants where you're still at, mm. but we still have, we have one up in Middlebury. In one in and, uh, Lake, Lake George, George. where yeah. they they come out to you and you order, and it's all A and W stuff. Oh my God, their cheese uh. curds, French fries, <laughs> burgers. You know why they're so good? Because as soon as they come off the grill, they're wrapped in that aluminum foil, mm -hmm. which to me makes all the difference in the world. All right, well, wait, wait, you ready for your flavor? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
Three, two, one. Eight. Yep, eight. I want more. Yep. And no, I'm that's... like soda, and I'm like yum. No, that's really good. I would now. Would I buy it again? Yes, but the only thing is, I, you don't see this other than at running. So we don't go to running that often. But if we were over there again, I would buy this again. And yeah. would I recommend it? Yeah. So I don't know if anybody out there has tried Frosty Root Beer by uh, what were the game? Excel Bottling mm -hmm. and Frosty Root Beer LLC. I've never seen it. This is the first time that I've seen it, and that was when we were at Runnings yesterday. But I would recommend this, and we both gave it an 8 for score, so that's, that's pretty nice. good. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, that is... Gee, we're going to probably drink a bottle today. <laughs> we don't... Most of the, the most of the sodas that we try... We dump. After we try them, unless they're really good, we just dump them. Uh, or I'm, you know... Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. I like the aftertaste. It's very... Uh, it doesn't have a yucky... Um, it does have that caramel aftertaste, which I, I like this. This is good. Yeah. So again, that was our super Saturday soda spectacular coming from, um, one of the roads here, back roads here in Ludlow. Um, one of the reservoirs is down here, a bunch of ducks and geese on it. They're flying over today. Um, all the snow. It's literally, gone. All Thank the you. Snow is gone. All God. Right, except up on the mountains. Hold on. You guys. It's just pretty. That's one of the flood control reservoirs here in town. Without them, this town You can actually see some of the every... fish. Oh, there you go. Lots of fish jumping yeah. today. Without these reservoirs, after any good heavy rain, the village would be flooded. And, uh, there's four of them in town. We need them. All right, guys. So we will, uh, we're going to do, um, we missed two videos last week. This week we're going to make up for them. Probably going to have a video just about every day this week. Um, starting tomorrow, starting today, then tomorrow we'll have one Monday. We'll probably do have one made up for Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. We're gonna have a lot of videos for this week. So you guys have a great day, dare, yeah, great day. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.